what is meant by large capacity load? Why, why did I explain the capacitor? Because if you don't know the what is meant by capacitor, you'll, you cannot understand what is the concept of driving large capacity loads. Here, the load means we are talking about uh, different kinds of uh, uh, capacitances or higher capacitance at the outputs. That capacitance has to be driven from one point of the circuit to the another point of the circuit. If a capacitance is very huge, you cannot drive that uh, particular uh, circuit signals. So that's why the capacitance stop is very important in order to understand the large capacity loads. So off, off chip loads, long wires, etc., have large capacitances. Large capacitances have been formed in off chips, uh, which are like uh, different kinds of uh, chips, which is not on one particular integrated circuit, or long wires. A uh, long wire also will be having a large capacitances. Increasing the transistor size, increasing, increasing the driving ability, and also the speed. So if you increase the transistor side, the speed will be increased, but the trade-off is that here, it will increase the gate capacitance also. The, this is a trade-off. If you want the speed, then forget about in, uh, thinking about the gate capacitances. But if you're looking for the uh, performances, then think about the capacitance and uh, forget about the speed of a particular circuit. So this, this is what is called as a trade-off. So let us see some solutions here. In short, I have written here, the solution like stages of this transistor should be increased. We should increase the, uh, the cascading of the transistor should be done here. Different, different transistors have been connected in series manner in order to increase the, uh, this one, in order to overcome this uh, uh, capa large capacitances. So let us see this concept in detail in the next slides. So now here, the problem of driving the large capacity loads arises when signals travel from out of the chip means if you are making a connection between a chip and for another uh, circuit like another device then there uh, a large capacitances uh, occurrence of large capacitance will be taken place so there you are supposed to be taken care how to drive the capacitance and how to make a connection at the output so that it can easily drive the signal from a uh, integrated circuit to the another uh, device wherever you want the device to be used Usually, it so happens that capacitance outside the chip are higher. Now, let us see how to overcome this particular problem. The overcoming of this particular problem can be done by cascading the inverters, which we have seen just now. This way, this is called as a cascading method. So uh, now here, if you uh, connect in the series manner, in the cascading manner, then we can overcome this uh, large capacity loads. In order to uh, overcome that uh, large capacity loads, you are supposed to reduce the delay these loads must be driven by the low resistances. Low resistance. When you talk about low resistance, the width of the transistor has to be large. So now to reduce the delay, a delay of these loads must be driven by low resistance devices. If we are using a cascade of inverter as a drivers, the pull up and pull down resistances must be reduced. The resistance of the pull up and pull down, the resistance of the uh, PMOS transistor and the resistance of the NMOS transistor has to be reduced. In order to reduce the resistance, we are supposed to increase the width of that particular transistor. The width of the PMOS and also width of the NMOS should be increased. So low resistance means low WBL ratio. Low WBL ratio is nothing else but we are talking about the fractional part of W by L. Here, here W by L we are talking we are talking like W by L, sorry, L by W, we are talking about L by W. Since here, this W is in the uh, denominator, if you increase the W, then definitely you'll be getting a lower resistance. So that is the meaning of lower w, L is to W. In order to have a lower resistance uh, circuits, we should have low w by, uh, L by W ratios. To reduce this ratio, the W must be increased. This has to be increased. Since L cannot be reduced, why does the L does not reduce? I uh, explained in the previous slides, to, re, to L cannot be reduced to lesser than the minimum value as per the technology load, we end up having a device which occupies a larger area. So now here, uh, we, we cannot reduce the uh, L, so that's why you, you'll be going with reducing or increasing of this particular uh, width. So that's why you'll be having a larger area. Larger area means the input capacitance increases and it slows down the process more. So because we cannot do this one with the transistor, we are going for the cascading of inverters as in drivers at the output. So this is the cascading of inverters 
as a drivers so can i can i have still five more minutes can anyone talk to me okay fine Sorry. Uh, I, I i need some five more minutes so that i can complete this slide and we'll wind up the class yes yeah, sir sure please go ahead the solution to this is to have the n n number of cascade transistors like this we will be having a n number of cascade transistors with their sizes increasing the size of this one should be smaller compared to this one means it will be an incremental process of uh, uh, size with respect to the cascading of the inverters the first one will be smaller this, then the next one will be bigger than the previous one and the third one will be bigger than the second one so it goes on for the n number of stages so you should uh, make a, a driver circuit depending upon the load size whatever is the load size depending upon the load size the number of uh, inverters will be increased so this is how you should make the connection of the driver circuit now we see that here the width is increasing the width of this transistors are increasing by a factor of alpha by a factor of alpha everywhere you can see here it is only w but when it comes to here it is an alpha w but when you come to here it is an alpha square w what is this uh, wp it indicates it's a width of a particular pmos transistor it's a pull up transistor and this is a pull down transistor we know that inverter will be having a pull up and also pull down device one pmos and one nmos is called as an inverter so it is a logic circuit of that cmos inverter sir diagram so now here both alpha and n can be complemented can be complemented means what if one is increasing other one has to be decreased so that is the meaning of complemented here Uh, if alpha for each stage uh, stage is large, then the number of devices uh, n devices also reduces, but delay per stage increases. So if you as you go on increasing the number of de devices, the delay also increases. So now if uh, you should make take care about this alpha and uh, n also here, we should carefully try to design this one. How many number of uh, transistors you sorry inverters you need? only that limited inverter should be used in order to drive that large capacity loads therefore it becomes essential to optimize this one so how to optimize we'll see it in the next slide fix n and find the minimum value of alpha so this is a huge uh, concept of what i have given some uh, 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 clear uh, uh, lines about how to minimize that alpha and how to optimize that one for nmos inverters the transition input transition if it is happening from 0 to 1 the delay will be alpha times of t and if it is from 1 to 0 means i'm talking the transition 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 the delay will be four times four times of alpha t so this is the delay between the for a, a 0 to 1 transition and from 1 to uh, 0 transition the delay for nmos pair is phi this is an important uh, objective the delay for the nmos pair is phi ft and for cmos pair it is 7t uh, delay is there in order to optimize the value of f here that is the number of uh, times we have seen in the previous case. Assume that Y is equal to load capacitance uh, Cn by Rcg, where this is equal to alpha times of n. Therefore, the choice of values of n and R are interdependent. These both are interdependent. Why? Because they are fractional factors. So we should be uh, take care about alpha and n here. In order to find the values of alpha to minimize the delay. From the equation of y, which uh, this is the equation of y, you know, this is a, a mathematical form how to e increase and de uh, decrease the alpha and uh, n values. Ln of y equal to n ln of alpha, that is nothing else but n is equal to ln y by ln alpha. So, in order to find out the value of n, you should uh, come up with this formula. And now, here, if a delay per stage is phi alpha t uh, for n mos, then for even number of stages, the total number of delay will be n by 2 n by 2 times of the phi alpha t that is 2.5 alpha t and this is also an important objective for any kind of competitive exams for for cmos total delays n by 2 7 alpha t that is equal to 3.5 alpha t uh, try to remember all these points which will be very useful for you in the gate exams hence a delay uh, of this n alpha t equal to ln y by ln alpha alpha times of t the delay can be minimized if the choice if the if we try to choose the value of alpha to be equal to e which is nothing else but which is a base of logarithm natural logarithm value base that is e now the it means that if you if you need 
uh, for each stage is 2.5 2.7 wider than its preceder means every stage the value of this one is 2.57 times 2.7 times bigger than the previous uh, inverters if this alpha equal to e which is a base value then n equal to ln of y why because both becomes y because we have seen the formula n equal to ln y by ln e ln e if you, it is equal to e then formula of n becomes ln y now we let us see if n equal to even what happens then the transition delay the delay time will become equal to 2.5 times of net for n mos for cmos it will be delay time equal to 3.5 times net for odd odd number of uh, value of n here that number of transistors or number of uh, inverters which are cascaded n is the number of inverters which is cascaded if n is odd if it is transition from 0 to 1 then the time delay will be 2.5 times this is a formula n minus 1 1 into e times of t for n mos if it is transition from 1 to 0 the time delay will be 2.5 times n mos n minus 1 4 et this is the difference between 1 and 0 to 1 is 1 here for 1 to 0 it will be 4 here in the equation and for the cmos for 0 to 1 3.59 times of n minus 1 into t et and for for 1 to 0 transition from high to low transition it will be 5 times 3.5 times n minus 1 phi into et so this is how you are supposed to calculate this uh, n value and uh, e value or alpha value in you know, while designing this cascading of the transistors in order to have a uh, good driving circuits <music>